excellent. It's great. I'm glad the guy's here and everything is going well. The kids are enjoying it extremely and as well as we do. The whole week we had health and safety talk started off by just um, explaining to the kids that G4S is all about safety. Not only our responsibility to keep them safe, what they can do to keep themselves safe. It's always important to teach the kids about their own safety. So, um, I've seen the media, I've seen what goes on in our communities and the topic I chose is all relevant to our, our communities. So. Some of these companies have been supporting us from the first day, from the start. Um, we know the people already, you know, we, we can rely on. ShopRite, um, the last four years I've been involved, every year they give the kids some food, hot dogs. Yeah, it's always good to, to be part of something that's special. This is the third year we're part of this specific project. Um, but no, as ShopRite in Africa, we're always doing something for the communities. and. That's what we're there for. Um, CIC, one of the big distributors here in the Mavia, they give uh, this uh, also a lot of cool rings. And I think we as business people sometimes need to just look back and see how we can do more than just um, do business in our country. But we don't do it often enough. Um, we live in a society where 36% of everybody in this country are not employed and we have a responsibility to, to, to at least contribute in a little way. The, the last two years, uh, Walter's been involved. They give some stationery and gift packs for the kids at the train year that they were able to use for it in the schools as well. I think it's important to involve the kids. There's a lot of street kids, a lot of orphans, a lot of AIDS victims. Um, and lots of grandparents are actually looking after their grandkids. Parents are just not available. So if the community can get involved, I think that is where we need to be. Most of these are uh, big clients of us ourselves. Uh, we do a lot of work for them and they assist us very much. We were honoured to be approached by G4S to be involved in this legacy project and with the JJ Care Centre here in Office Bay. just got this phone call from the officers to say they're popping in all the way from Vintook for a day. So I was quite inspired that they're coming all the way from another town just to come see me and what we do here. And from that instant that they walked in the door, I could just see the goodness of their hearts. And everyone was so emotional. When you see these kids, you're so used to seeing normal people and kids. When you see these kids, it's really touching and inspiring. And from that day, they just, without even telling me, I had people knocking at my door the next day to fix our broken windows. They had a brand new alarm system put in for us. They organized this beautiful paint for the whole school. I mean, the school looked really terrible when it first moved in. Now it looks actually like a school. And we have supplied them with paint on, for the interior as well as an extra exterior uh, to beautify the, pro the, the house as well as to um, ensure that the surfaces is washable and cleanable. From a personal point of view it's also very satisfying to know that our product is put to good use in the community and that's also our way of plowing back into the community. One, two, I'm the Basic Pride really takes us into different communities from our normal um, social responsibilities and I hope that this program will extend way into the future, looking forward to it. We've already got the dates for next year, so looking forward to that. Come join me. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you guys, hope we can keep up um, communication and yeah, I think we've made friends along the way and uh, a lot of these kids will be coming back.